What are the three most important goals you've got for your life for this year? That if you accomplish them, this would be the best year of your life. Every day you lift your head up off the pillow, you're gonna decide whether that day you are a success or whether you are a failure. You're either moving forward or you're falling behind. One step at a time, every step you take away from the bed as you walk through your day, you are either going in the direction of success or you're going in the direction of failure. Do the things that will help you to someday be the person that you want to become. If you want to have more, you have to become more. Success is something you attract by the person you become. So for things to change, you've got to change. For things to get better, you've got to get better. And when you improve, everything and all your results improve around you. We overestimate what we can do in a day and we underestimate what we can do in several days. Doing a little bit every day is a lot more important than doing a lot someday. Get started. Getting started is absolutely the key to life. It takes courage to be successful. It is far easier not to be successful. Misery will always have company. Success breeds contempt. If you don't want to make waves, be mediocre. Be normal and fit in. It takes courage to be different. It takes courage to go where you've never gone before. It takes courage to get you outside of the box. It takes courage to be successful. It takes courage to win. I don't care whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, there's something down inside of you that's still kicking inside of you that wants to get out and it wants to live. It wants to live. There's something in you that needs to be fed, that needs to be stirred, that needs to be electrified, that needs to be illuminated. There's something down inside of you. Cry, let me out! Life has a way of pushing our dreams down. They can become buried under discouragement, buried under past mistakes. There are dreams buried under divorce buried under low self-esteem. It's easy to settle for mediocrity even though we have all this potential buried on the inside. The good news is it's still alive. It's not too late to see it come to pass. The key to reaching your destiny is you have to remember your dream. Sometimes people will try to put us in a box Tell us things like, you can't start that business. You don't have the resources. You'll never afford a nice place to live. Never get well, never meet the right person. Because their thinking is limited, they'll try to put their limitations on you. You have to put your foot down and say, I refuse to be mediocre because people around me are mediocre. It starts in our thinking. Nothing will change until you make up your mind you are not going to accept mediocrity. Learn to say you to the world every once in a while. You have every right to just stop thinking, worrying, looking over your shoulder, wondering, doubting, fearing, hurting hoping for some easy way out. So try the most outrageous things you can. Shock yourself. You have at your power the ability to do anything. I'd rather try and fail than not try at all. I don't want to live with the idea of wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life. I'm going to go for it. Come hell or high water, I'm going after my destiny.
destiny. You got to run after your destiny. You can't stroll after your destiny. You can't walk after your destiny. You got to run. Stop looking for the quick fix for success, happiness, and wealth. There's no shortcut. There's no cliff notes. There's no quick fix. Success is a result of small, seemingly insignificant, moment-to-moment -moment choices. Don't take today off. Not today. Wait until tomorrow. Don't, don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that. Do not listen to that little voice. Instead, go through the motions. Lift the weights. Sprint the hill. Work on the project. Get out of bed. Do you have the courage to act outwardly on what you see inwardly? Or will you die a dreamer? Will you die on the verge and on the edge and in the land of coulda, woulda, and shoulda? Don't wait anymore. Don't think anymore. Don't plan anymore. Don't contemplate anymore. Don't make any more excuses or justifications. Don't rationalize anything else. No, no, and no. Hard work works. Working really hard is what successful people do. Anyone taking initiative will always get criticized for moving too fast because there's always someone who wants to slow you down. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference.